Okay, I've got collars on everybody. They're, these puppies have not been handled a lot, and I think they got really freaked out when the animal control people picked them up yesterday um, because just touching them, they are like, some of them are squalling. So, and then others are like her. She's biting my shoes. She's like full of herself, all puppy. Okay, so let's start off with the little red collar girl there, right there. That is Chesley. Hi, Chesley. And then the little pink and blue floral collar there with the white chest. That is Chels. Chels. Hi, Bobby. Hi, baby. Okay, and then we have um, this little, let's see, this little brown girl here with a pink collar on. This here is Cobby. 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 Yes, I know they're weird names, but we have so many dogs with the same names year after year, so we're trying to just give them unique names. Okay, blue checkered collar. That's a female. Everybody I've showed you so far are females. I've named her Chally. Chally. They don't know these names. They probably won't know them because I'm going to just call them puppy. Um, <laughs> five of them look almost identical. It's very hard to tell them apart. And then, um, who's that right there? Yes, he's limping. Orange collar is um, Clay. And uh, I don't know what happened. He came to us like this. He is weight bearing on it. We'll have our vet check him on Friday. They came late. Um, they came on Friday. Um, my vet is super busy on Fridays. Um, so we're just gonna give him the weekend to, um, you know, ride it out and see what happens. Hopefully it's not broken or anything. He is weight bearing on it, but he is limping. And then the yellow collar in the back there. Right there next to closest to the bed. Climbing up on the bed right there. That is Christian. So Christian and then Clay to the right. Christian's on the left. Those are the two male puppies in the litter. <laughs> and they look very similar. They're very hard to tell apart. Mom was a purebred German Shepherd and dad we don't know. Mom looked like a standard uh, black and tan. And so we have little um, Cobby here. She's the only one that's uh, the odd man out. She's not the black sheep of the family. <laughs> Oh, honey, she's so adorable. So, um, you know, we can guess that most of these puppies, mom being a German Shepherd, probably weighed about 70 pounds. That the, the girls are all probably gonna weigh about that. Boys might be a little bigger at 80. 75, 80 pounds, we're just gonna say on average. So, you know, a German Shepherd is a large breed dog, guys. So just keep that in mind when you're applying to adopt. We do have some Shepherd mixes from another litter that are smaller. If you're wanting what we call a pocket shepherd or an apartment shepherd, these guys are not the ones that you'd be looking for. We have some smaller shepherd mixes. In fact, Paola is in the next kennel over. Um, she's a petite little apartment shepherd. We'll get video of her here shortly. So um, they just came in yesterday. They're kind of freaked out. Um, they're doing really good. They're, they're sleeping on their blankets and they figured out the dog door and it goes out to a concrete area. It's pretty big out there. It's uh, plenty of room for them to walk around and it's another rainy day in March in East Tennessee. So these guys are safe. They've got a roof over their head where before where they were, their owners were not um, taking care of these puppies. Extremely irresponsible and negligent. And nothing is done about this. Two of the puppies um, were hit by cars and killed. Uh, because these people, I guess, live on a big road and the house is close to the road. And they didn't care. They didn't care. Um, so these poor babies um, were taken out of a really bad situation where they were neglected and uh, they did have fleas. We've bathed everybody. They smell so much better. And um, they're available for adoption through Imminent Danger German Shepherd Rescue. If you are interested in adopting one of these particular puppies or any of our dogs on our website or puppies, please fill out an application on our website, www.idgsr.org, and then we'll process your application and get back with you. That's a little boy, Christian. Orange collar is Clay, I'm sorry, that's Clay. The one next to him is Christian.
Again, puppies don't know their names. We just assign names to them. He's looking at a shadow. <laughs> puppy puppies. They're eating well. They just got done eating lunch. So we're very pleased with how they're acting so far. They're doing well. And they'll be ready for adoption in a couple of weeks. Um, or three weeks, actually. If you're local, we can let them go early. Um, but if you um, are out of our area and you need transport, the transport says they have to have two sets of vaccines before they can go on transport up north. Or if you drive here, you can certainly pick up your puppy because they are actually old enough. They're, I think, between eight and nine weeks or about nine weeks. So regardless, if you want to drive here to pick up your puppy, you're welcome to do that because that's what crazy dog people do, right? We are in the crazy dog people club. We're not obsessed. We're not like freaks over dogs, but we're saving lives, guys. That's what this is about. These are underdogs. They would have ended up dead. They would have been euthanized um, if they were in a shelter because it would have broke with Parvo. When you have shelters that are all over the state and there are, people are not spaying and neutering and these puppies are coming in litter after litter after litter. I'm hearing many, many stories from uh, rescue groups and shelters where the shelters have got 100 puppies a week coming in. That's insanity. This is absolute insanity. They're euthanizing them. I had a shelter manager tell me they had 100 puppies come in. They had to euthanize half of them because they had no place for them to go. This is insane. The cheapness of life. Oh, it's just a worthless puppy. Just, just kill it. So this is very frustrating to us. So let me have that string in your mouth, please. Thank you. So um, I know this video is long. These babies are adorable. <laughs> All their little collars. And uh, we'll try to get pictures and stuff and uh, of individual puppies so that they can be listed online. But in the meantime, we're going to share this video on our Facebook page. Uh, we've got other puppies that are available for adoption. Um, there's four left in the pea puppies, um, Palma's puppies. One is pending adoption, so there's four of them, and they're about the same age. And then we've got the M puppies, who are about 14 weeks old. They're available. All of these kids need homes, so if you guys can open up your hearts to welcome in another family member, please do so. Um, we are in an urgent animal welfare crisis in this country. It's out of control. girl is the brave one. Okay, we're going to end this video with Cinder's being a big mouth. Cinder. 